And we're back in the game with some more Realm Total War Ever Bay Condita mod playing as the Gauls. This is our Gallic campaign. It was being recorded earlier. I got 95% uh, of the way through the recording and then the power went out again. It is rather annoying, especially as during that recording we fought three battles over here against rebels so we could claim the settlement of Berdigala. Right after we claimed it, power went out. Also, during that episode, uh, the Britons uh, started showing up over here. So we were preparing for an attack from the Britons. Because it looks like there's a blue border on there. Uh, there's a grey border there, so that's rebel. But we have a good idea that the Britons have come up here. Now, I think we're allied to them. So activate IR scripts, diplomacy, British tribes allied, and we're not allied to the Germanic tribes. Right. Well, we've got 13,000 in our treasury. What we were trying to do is get troops down to Masana because we have the opportunity of capturing Syracuse, and that's a rather large settlement. We might be able to pull a through pull a few units out from here, including our better units. It's a bit of a risk, but as you can see, they're not that unhappy. That's actually quite good that we can move all of those. Alright, now they're a yellow face. So we have some cavalry up here, which we're going to start moving down. We've got 13,000 in our treasury, and now that we're expecting an attack up here, we're going to start recruiting some units. Let's get some of those. We've got good population Dariotium, so heading towards 6k. Basically the same population at Cenebrum. And we managed to save or retake Limonum in the last episode. So we've got troops there. Now we're going to send them out right now to there. And as you can see, there are more rebels over here. So I'm going to grab some extra cav. Do we have anyone we can send out from here? We have this unit, which is at full strength. We'll send them over. We're retraining all of those, or we should be retraining them. Let's get those into retraining. You know what? I'm going to merge these units up because they're just spare war bands, nothing special. So we'll do that. Now, we've got uh, almost 11,000 left. Let's put that into our economy. Or at least try to build up. Uh, we'll do that. We get a discount on units at Rome, but uh, we've pushed our borders away from Rome for the moment. So that population isn't critical. All of those buildings will help at some point. Alright, looks like we're constructing everywhere, which is good. Now, hopefully the power stays on all the way through this recording. Now, what we saw was that there's some Bretons, uh, Breton nobles out here. And some archers. That's mainly what we'll be facing. So we did actually gain a new subscriber today, that was uh, subscriber 109, don't know who it is. Uh, we've got a new general there. Right. In the Bracti. Now I've forgotten how much watchtowers cost us. 
900, that's a lot. We should fix that up. In the meantime, we're going to send you over here so you can go into Italy. Get those two units moving. We're moving to there. Keep those moving forwards. Right. Now, uh, we've got this force. I'm going to move them here. We can get these in to Masana. Keep Masana happy. I'm going to bump it up just slightly. We've got a temple coming, so that's good. That will help with public order and reduction in corruption. So, let's send. What do we have in there? Let's get some missiles in there. Let's get another unit over here. And I'm going to send all of those over. Now, we didn't get attacked by the rebels as I was expecting. In um, the next turn, we're going to be too powerful for them. So, this one's going to play out different from the earlier recording. Where's the best place to use our money? And Monum, that's doing fine. In fact, just going to bump it up. It's still making 4.5% growth, which is very good. Capua, we're going to put money into a great market. It's going to take a lot of our treasury. Cenobum, we should prepare you. Hello, sir. Uh, we're going to have an extra general hopefully come over here fairly soon. Yeah, that's most of our money gone. Uh, let's get through another turn. We've got that extra general coming into Italy, so maybe he can lead the forces in Sicily. Ah, they've completely pulled back. Alright, we're going to go after them. Yep, there they are. The uh, Britons have shown up. We're going to send some more units back. want to discourage them from coming after us. Now, I don't think we can take that cavalry out, which is a bit disappointing. Okay, and we've got Syracuse under siege. And that has something like 7,000 people. 7,300. They're not that powerful. Now, uh, there should be a settlement right about here. There it is, because we know that from our factoring campaign. There's a Parthian diplomat. We'll get that, try to get some map info on this side of the world. And we did. Yes, my lord. No more moves. Doesn't look like Parthia has expanded much, does it? General. Alright. Actually pulled some of their troops back. So this recording is a lot easier than the one I had earlier. Right. What do they have in there? World Warband. I think those are just swordsmen. I think. Alright. What can we do here? That's economy. Rentum should have better trade, I think. Croton. We got the temple. Still a lot of corruption. And Masana, we did the same thing. Another temple of Isis. That's the only temple that we have for a law bonus. 
So we've got money left over. I'm actually going to get yet another unit. We'll find a use for all these units, no matter what. Alright, Berdigala. Can we see the population? No, but there's those Breton heavy infantry. I thought they were called Breton nobles, but they are a heavy spare unit. Actually, fairly offensive spare unit. They don't normally sit back and defend. They'll actually come for you. Now, that's an effort. Uh, my, isn't it? Right. 18, 19 and a half. Very cool. It's that trash unit. So, these are probably the only ones that we need to deal with. Our cavalry might be able to deal with theirs. And missiles, we've got two, three, four, five dedicated missile. Yeah. Range equal or better than theirs. We could claim a rather nice settlement right now. So, let's go in there and try to capture Syracuse. So let us send the enemy screaming to meet their gods today. Yes, we shall. Await my order. But first, we're going to move up here. Oh yeah, that's right. We're being attacked by a single unit, aren't we? Now, there's the settlement. That means their reinforcements might come in through this road. Or they might come in somewhere along here. I was going to deploy somewhere else. All right, archers. Now uh, this is a bit hit and miss about whether we choose the right location because we could get very, very lucky or not so lucky. We really only need to leave about one sword unit up here to deal with their starting forces. All of these units have javelins, which is very nice. That makes us equal or better of the Romans. Uh, we're actually in a good position as far as units, because now that we've taken out the Romans, the only other javelin armed infantry are probably the Thoracitae, which are used by about five, six, seven units or factions. And I think we have three units that can use javelins. It's always nice to have that killing power. Alright, swordsman. I think you'll probably be enough. Let's see if we guess right. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, they have brought even more men. No matter, we will not exactly right, it. but fairly close. We might try overwhelming one of their flanks. And in fact, we should. We should definitely try overthrowing them. I'm actually going to take you off. Or it will. Because right now you're going after trash units. Right. Go after those. Your no. general is in his grave. It well, would have been that's not a good start. Can be a bit hard to see the enemy over here. How are you doing? Are you engaging those Peltas? Or their cavalry? Alright, now we should put you into fire at will. Okay, ignore that unit. The enemy warlord uh -huh. is dead. Slain by your brave warriors. And he was an actual general. Uh, we lost our second cab unit. Alright, you're out of ammunition. Charge in. 
Dodge in. Alright, you've called up to that unit. Who are you fighting? Top lights. You crash into you that have unit. The enemy general. Now his men show fear. Now they may turn and run. Attack! Attack! Those javelins in. We are losing a lot of cav though. We've already had two units route off the field. Why are those archers in melee? Did you defeat that unit? No. It's getting close. Hunt them down and slay them all. No, we are trying. We're all mixed in over here. Can't really see any enemy units. Outstanding. Uh, they got the rest of my cow. Alright, archers. After that unit. There's somebody fighting there. Alright, not many enemy units left. Get over here. You're still going after somebody. It's a routing unit. Get those javelins in. Alright. Hold your position. Well, we are definitely winning. I actually killed 68% of their army. Which isn't a great deal. Okay, there's actually two units all the way up here. Are they routing? Yes, they are. Those hoplites are not going down that quickly, are they? This is no longer a battle. This is a hunt. There they go. No, a coward chase. Seventy three percent. Just speed it all up. So we lost Captain Senianus, killed Dionysus, and Captain Philotus. We did lose over a third of our army there. Yeah. Right. Still got thirteen hundred and fifty remaining. Uh yeah, so we're at one hundred and nine subscribers. Excellent. Aha. Uh Bertigala, right? Yep. They're sending their forces out. Less than a thousand. Well, actually about yeah, again, about equal numbers. I don't think we're going to claim Syracuse because a good proportion of the uh, troops managed to get back in the city. Uh, that's one of the negatives of fighting them that's when they just enter the enemy. battlefield. That's if you do the route them, they're going to route off the field pretty quickly. 
Okay. Go ahead, fire at will. See if I care. The enemy have brought more weaklings to reinforce their line. Let them. Get up there. Take your guard mode. They're attacking us, aren't they? Oh, wait. Did I look at that wrong? Yeah, again. The bulk of their force is coming in behind us. Alright, well. We just need to turn these around. Over here. Then we're just going to use our cavalry. All of it. Take out that unit. They are a dangerous unit. But they're about to get hit by the four units of cav. Breton Heavy Infantry. Let's take a close look at them. They've got the distinctive dark blue capes on. Ooh, that one went flying, didn't he? The enemy flee from the field like frightened gods. Good. Them down and slay them all. You sure? You have killed the enemy general. Now his men show fear. Now they may turn and run. Attack! Attack! Alright, we lost about what, 20 cavalry. Not too bad. They're doing that weird thing where they think they're still in battle, even though they're not. Now, uh, let's just get into position. Yep, you're definitely not still in battle. They do this in Total War Run Remastered, and they won't even move from the position they're in sometimes. Yeah, like those two have got hung up. But in Rome Remastered, it'll be the whole unit that won't move. over there. Yeah. Okay, you've broken free. Get him to move. Yep, he's moving, he's moving, yep. Get out of there. You should be running. There you go. First enemy unit is making contact. Should slow it back down again. Who are those? Warband. I think we can take them. Uh, we've got some archers back there. Oh, the, our swordsmen, which are heavy infantry, actually broke. Get in there. Oh, that general's taking a beating. How well did our actual general do? Okay, those are routing. We have managed to rally some. Okay, who's that unit? More Bretons. Get out of there. Attack. 
Alright, fire on that unit. We should be able to break this unit. They're about to get hit in the rear. Chase them down. Zoom in a little more. The enemy warlord shows his worth. Nothing. Any of our warriors would die rather than run. Okay, stop firing. The army runs. Now hunt them down. You can come off with fire at will. But that should give us control of uh, Birdie Gala. Now, we've had some speculation in the comment section about which direction we should go in. This is a most worthy and victory. we shall address that in a minute. Right, 250 casualties. And in fact, we will go and play some Rome Total War Remastered right after this. Now, uh, this is the point where the power went out earlier. And uh, we did decide just to occupy it. So, there, it's occupied. Now, the speculation in the comments was, where do we go from here? Uh, due in part to the fact that from here we could strike out into Greece, where there's a lot of very large, well-developed, um, rich settlements. And we can just hop across here and start our invasion. We are already at war with the Greeks down here and the Epirates up here. And the Epirates are allied to the Macedonians. And I think the Greeks are allied to the Thracians. So coming over here, whilst a good option, is also going to put us at war with a lot more people, most likely. Uh, there's also speculation that Carthage might turn against us, or that we should go into Carthaginian lands, which will also be quite wealthy, at least their coastal settlements will. And southern Italy and Sicily are good jumping off points for that. But for the moment, I think we're going to concentrate on capturing all of Sicily, um, because Sicily, once developed, is going to bring in a lot of money. We might actually be able to claim Syracuse right now. Yes. Can we? Destroy. We actually have an agent in there, don't we? Spy. Yeah. That didn't cost us much. Fear us. Our land by conquest. Now, we are going to exterminate. So we've got our one and only spy there. Pragus, and that's another fairly large settlement. We've got some Greeks over here. Some more Greeks up there. Ooh, we're barely going to be able to control this uh, settlement. Barely. Yeah. Gonna have to retrain everyone. It's at sixty percent. Uh, might get it to seventy if we're lucky. Might. Let's visit visit our uh, diplomat. Come over here to Bactria. Some more trade rights and some more map info. Very nice. And Vertigala is now ours. Drop that down. Start building it up. Yes. Do over there. General. 
just move everyone down. Orders. Well, I'm going to move you to aluminium. Yes. Orders. Move, move you down to here. Move out. Unable to move. Move. Mm. You're not very happy. Retrain those. It's not going to cost much. And get some more troops up here. Again, just in case the Britons come for us. Alright, must have got some kind of upgrade. Maybe from capturing Syracuse. No. We've got the blacksmith in there, which we can upgrade. So this bit and here. Let's put that in as well. You're going to have to build up all of these sediments. Yeah, let's get our military upgraded. Nothing to build there. Nothing to build there. Yeah, no need for any of those at the moment. Anything to build there. Right, the Monum. Brigantia, so that's growth in any case. I'll help out with some growth as well. But that's as far as we're going to get for this episode here today. So if you watched this far, thank you all very much. Keep on watching.